Hello everyone. This video will show how to configure devices remotely and preview through P2P. First of all, we click the site interface to enter a site. Take Paris for example. In device module, you can see four buttons. Add device, upgrade device, apply for live view permission and apply for configuration permission. In the device list below, you can see the name, status, serial number, device type of the device, and the device permission on by the installer. If you have the permission of configuring devices, you can say specific status of the devices. Is it online or is it offline? In permission page, you can also see the configuration items. In addition, the color of the small item below is black. When you put a mouse on it, remote configuration will be prompt. If you do not have the permission of configuring devices, you can also see that device data is unknown in the device data page. In permission page, there is no configuration items. In addition, the color of the small item below is gray. When you put a mouse on it, it will prompt apply for configuration permission first. At this time, if you still need the configuration permission of the devices, you need to apply to the end user. Here's the application instructions for you. Click Apply button, select the devices that needs to apply for configuration permission, and click Apply. After clicking Apply, the end user will receive the message of the site permission application on High Connect. After being authorized by end user, Fresh the site and you will see that permissions of the devices have been updated. In the same way, if you have preview permission of the devices, you can see the live view item in the permission. The small icon below is also black and will prompt live view. But if you don't have the preview permission for devices, there is no live view item permission. The small icon below is gray. When you put a mouse on it, it will prompt apply for live view permission first. You need to apply for preview permission from the end user. And operation is the same as what we instructed before. Click Remote Configuration icon to open the remote configuration interface of the device through P2P. After opening, you can do some basic configurations like modify the time or camera names. Click Live View icon to open the preview interface of the devices. If the device is enabled stream encryption, you need to enter verification code. And you can enter preview interface only after verification is successful. When the mouse is placed on the screen of this video, you can say the channel name or you can say a row of gadgets in the lower right corner. Capture. After clicking, you can get a real-time snapshot, which will be stored locally on your computer. You can click Open Folder to open the storage path. Start recording. After clicking, you can Record a real-time video, which will also be stored in your local computer. Open Digital Zone. You can enlarge a part of this picture locally. Then click the Switch Move button. When it turns to blue, the icon on the screen changes from a magnified glass to palm. You can jog it to few different pictures. Then click the reset button below to restore the multiple of pictures. Open PDZ control. After clicking, the PDZ operation button will appear on the screen and you can rotate the PDZ camera. High division. You can choose different picture quality. For example, 
When your network environment is poor, you can switch to the front to improve the smoothness of the preview. When the network condition is good, you can switch to the high definition to improve the clarity of the picture. Audio. You can turn the audio on or off, or adjust size of the audio sound. There is also a PDZ control panel below. Click Open to do PDZ control. For example, adjust the scrim, control the wiper, set preset, configure the patrol pattern, etc. This is the introduction for remote device configuration and live fill. Thank you for watching.